Hello people, I'll be showing you how to use a video editing program called Zweistein. Um, it's very versatile, it's free, it can do a whole lot of stuff that even some paid programs can't do. It's just, it's very hard to figure out how to use. I'm still not completely sure, but I'll just show you the basics. So yeah, type in Zweistein, Z-W-E-I-S-T-E-I-N, with a space in between, and then click on the top link there. Now, choose the one down the bottom, because I don't know how to use the strawberry one. Don't click the strawberry one. Click this one here. It's like Zweistein it's like 3 point something. So yeah, because I have no idea. The other one's really hard. Okay, so yeah, you download it here. You click that one there, highlighted. Well, yeah, you, you click it, you download it, you install it. But I'm not going to do that now, because I've already done it. So yeah, just install that. Oh yeah, this doesn't work for Macs, as far as I know. It's just Windows. But yeah, so just download it. Don't do what I did, because I didn't. I'll just go to it. Um, there it is. Last in alphabetical order. Thugs at B. So yeah, here we are. Now, to get a video, right-click and do Insert Video. Or whatever it is. Now it doesn't show WMVs, so you need to go down and click all files if you're going to use a WMV. It shows all the rest, like AVI and stuff. So yeah, just pick a random one. Here I'll choose. Uh, what's one I should choose? Mm, I'll choose this one. So yeah, you can see that on the bottom left there is a video. Up the top right is the display of what the video is. Now down the bottom, right down the bottom, there's a slider, and it shows you all the different parts. There is no actual play feature. You cannot see what it is until you've rendered it. But yeah, I think that was one of my 333 scratches. Was it? Yeah, it was. But yeah, so you can shorten it by doing this. By just clicking on the right and then dragging. Or you can go to the middle, right click, and then split wherever this is, whatever that says. So you split that, and then if you want to get rid of it, just right click and delete. Yes. So yeah, have this thing here. Oh, and you can duplicate it, so you have two of them, and they're exactly the same. I just delete it. We delete this. So yeah, you can add effects to them. There are some basic effects like opacity going up doesn't do anything but going down makes it see-through in different degrees now to get if you don't want it to be see-through see look if you don't want it to be see-through after you've already done that you right click and you remove and you set to default or you could just delete it see it's white when it's yellow it means it's been changed when it's white it doesn't so you go back to the start let's add another video effect Um, how about chroma key? This makes things see-through. Yeah, here you just choose which which color you want to be see-through, and you can change some settings on the left. But yeah, you can just go around choose which one. It's good for like blue screen, green screen, and that kind of stuff. And you can also move it around a bit. I'll tell you that later. But yeah. So now that it's see through. No, the black is see through, except you can't tell because the background is um, a standard black. But yeah, so you can make it see through. Oh, you'll be able to see it later. And you can delete it if you want. Yeah, you just delete all of them if you feel like it. But still, yeah. Now with this you can move it around. This is where it will be for this single point right on this frame. This is where it's going to be. Now I can make it really big or really small using the things on the side. You can make it squished funny. You can make it smaller. I just put it up to the top right. Just because I feel like it. So yeah, and now it's up to the top right. Now if you move forward um, a bit say here, then you can make it then you can change it again and 
over that time period that you've changed it, it will morph to be different like that. So you can see over the time it morphs. Well, not morphs, just changes size. Now, there are a lot of programs that can't do that. There are some quite sophisticated ones that can, but this one's free and it can. And now uh, just make it really big. So you'll start at the top right, it will squish and they'll fill the thing and then it'll get really big. You can make this even bigger like that. Well, actually, I'm just making it really, really small at this part. So, yeah. It's a bit weird, but still. Dead end. And then it just stays like that until you choose another thing. So, let's insert another video. And then just pick a random video. How about this one? This one is DDR122. Oh, look. I can slide this along if I feel like it. Um, yeah, this is DDR doing, getting 2.2 and 2.31. I think that's because I used it for a synchro. But yeah. Now, I can move it to the top like that. So that. Wait. Yeah, I can move the other one to the top so that it's above, so DDR is now below. And now you can see actually that it's that the chroma key has worked, so you can see through the black part. Just showing you that that actually works. That you can change it to basically any color. And you can make it very, very sensitive to be only basically only one type of color if you really felt like it. I'll just make DDR really big here. Oh no, really small actually. Put it down the bottom right. Now if you only do one variable then he'll stay down there. If you do two then it'll change. Yeah, I uh, just make this shorter so it's the same length. No. Let's insert another video. And this can take basically as many videos as you want until your computer crashes. I don't recommend trying it though. But yeah. And just another random video. Oh wait. Try, try that again. Yeah, all files. If you want to see WMVs, I save most of my videos as WMVs. Here's my 6.69. That was pretty epic. Whoa, it's really long. Make it a lot shorter. There. Now just leave that there. Well, I can make it small. I just make it really tiny in the middle. Well, up to top left actually. Make it a bit bigger. Just plunk it there. So yeah, this is how the video will look. Oh, I just had an effect to it. Uh, let's see, what does this one do? Oh, it does nothing. Well, it probably does do something. I'm not sure. <coughs> oh, it makes it blurry. And you can choose where you want the effect to be done. So, like, you can... Yeah, in the middle video part, you can just choose where you want the effects to be only. Now choose another one. Choose another effect. How about this one? Mm, here. Well, it makes it cool. Sort of makes it look like a bubble. That's pretty cool. So, I now have me as a bubble. Win! So, that's me shrinking as a bubble. So yeah, that's just what the whole video will look like. Okay, now to save it, you go up here, you choose how, how many frames per second, and then you choose what file type. I usually use WMV, and I usually do about 25 frames per second. So now I save it as something random. Save. And then choose this setting here uh, right here that one's the best quality I found and then it starts saving it it takes a while to save but yeah it does take a while but it's it's worth it it's what I use to make a lot of the stuff in my golden archer tribute and that is uh, usually unanimously thought as being good
At the time, I thought it was just what a tribute should be like. But, yeah. That's basically it. <laughs>